Peter Coldrake met, fell in love with, and married the love of his life. My wife is one of the, the most amazing, if not the most amazing person that I've, I've met. They had two sons, lived a very active and rewarding life together. And looking back today, Peter realizes how lucky he was. She didn't know a stranger and she could um, had the unique ability to make people laugh and see the fun side of things. Peter is also lucky because he and his wife Karen had the foresight early in their relationship to prepare each other for the unthinkable. My wife and I had talked about the becoming donors and we had done that and then you know, it's a situation that everybody hopes they never find themselves in. Peter did find himself in that situation. He'll never forget his wife's voice when she called from the grocery store. Karen told Peter she wasn't feeling well and asked if he could come pick her up and drive her home. She was unconscious when we got there and had passed away from a, a severe brain aneurysm. As quickly as his wife had left him, a new lifelong relationship began just a few hours later when he and his sons were approached in the hospital by a member of the Iowa Donor Network. So you know as soon as you walk in that room you're going to feel the anger, you're going to feel the hurt, the sorrow, the grief that those families are feeling. Kate Bowersox has come face to face with hundreds of people grieving the loss of a loved one, always in a matter of hours after the death. It's amazing to talk to these families, these donor families, and tell somebody someone's in the hospital waiting right now. You're going to be able to save that person's life and they're going to get that transplant very quickly. Our main goal here at Iowa Donor Network is try to get everybody in Iowa off the waiting list. In Iowa, there are approximately 600 people on the organ waiting list. Nationwide, over 110,000. And again, nationally, looking at the data that we see, uh, unfortunately, every 12 minutes, somebody passes away waiting for an organ transplant. When a heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, or other organs become available due to a death, organ donation coordinators from Iowa Donor Network have to act quickly. We utilize all ICU staff, physicians, um, pretty much everybody in the hospital to make sure that this um, donation does take place. We use our own personal jet service and we also use ambulances to um, pick up teams from the airport and take them to the hospital as fast as possible. Thanks to Iowa Donor Network's fast action, Karen Coldrake's organs help save the lives of multiple people on the organ waiting list. Peter regularly talks to one of them. Now he has the ability to help his wife. He can go out and shovel the snow. He can go on walks. He can go on vacations. And he could never have done anything like that you know, unless he'd received Karen's lungs. Iowa Donor Network oversees the entire donation process from initial contact with the donor's family to the organ transport to the operating rooms of several Iowa hospitals, including the University of Iowa Transplant Center. Dr. Alan Reed has worked with the Iowa Donor Network and has seen the importance of their work firsthand in the eyes of his patients. People waiting for livers and hearts and lungs are facing almost certain death uh, without transplantation. So imagine being told that, you know, in the middle of the night that here's your chance at, 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 at a new life. Uh, it's, it's hard to put into words. Besides coordinating transplants, Iowa Donor Network is also on a mission to educate the public about the importance of being an organ or tissue donor. Ultimately, if everybody decided to be a donor, I think our waiting list would be minimized. I think at, at some point in the future, it'll be, there won't be a waiting list. And the importance of having the conversation with your loved ones so there's no hesitation, wondering what to do if the unthinkable does happen. There's an opportunity to make a difference. There's an opportunity to, to prepare yourself and your family in the unfortunate circumstance that you may find yourself in.